Abalimi means the planters of the homes. Because at the beginning they were planting from the backyards. There were no bigger community gardens like Skaka. They were supporting people to grow their own, own vegetables on, on, a, on a small piece of land that they've got at homes. They're helping people from the community to grow their own food. They are doing their own gardens from the, their backyards and then to the open spaces around the location. So they grow their own food. We support them with seeds to make their seedlings. We also give them uh, seedlings to grow any, every type of vegetables. Why do I do it? Because just, just because I like it and I enjoy it. Yeah. It's fun and I have patience for it. And I'm also encouraging most of the people in the community for what I'm doing. And I also explain to them why I'm doing this. Lady was attending a workshop. That lady, she was eating. He, was, he didn't have his own garden at, the, at home. But since he started to do his own garden, pick up the veg on the garden, the high blood pressure was starting to go down. So the doctor, he asked him, what? What did you do? What happened to you? And then he say, I just start to eat a veg and organic food. You know, the community, I like to work with community. I like the people to know all those things. I want to motivate the people. They know that this is belong to everyone. If you are a human being, it belongs to you. Trees and every, it's a healing. This is a selfie and then also used for the saw. When you got saw, throat, and then maybe sores on the mouth. The kids who just rub it. We call it itokuma. They take the juice from this and then you squeeze it and you put it on your ear when it's, it's, uh, it's so What's it this one called? It's a cotyledon. And then in Kosa it's a peula. This one, this one is a umuma. This is a traditional tree. If you're going to do some works at home in our Kosa uh, works, you have to get this tree. We call it Umuma, it's Olia in English. Heli Kresam. Use this as a tea, you drink it. And then it's also good on high blood and um, arthritis. You drink it, you mix with the, this one, you mix with that one, Umtlonyana. And which one you mix with that? And rosemary. And then you drink it. And then for the colds, fevers, it's good on that. My house is my example yeah. because I, I start cleaning with my house while I was studying. So I collect every plant, everywhere, every seed and plant in my house and plant. And other, other people ask, where did you get this? Why you plant this? And then I said, this is an environment. You have to have, you clean your house, you have to clean your street, you have to plant to avoid the sandy and all those things. And then people starting. Before there was thinking that greening is on Belleville and Randa Bosch, you can't Kailicha do that because of the sand. But if you work on this sand, there are plants that are suitable for this sand. You have to choose the plants that are suitable for the Kailicha environment and the area and the sand. I eat out of my own garden because of this project. Yes. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm just a, a mother a, a, that's, that's not working, that's staying at home, raising her kids, working in the garden. From the garden I get a lot. I don't have to go to the shops to buy vegetables. I all get it here. Everything I want. I get from my garden. Sometimes I even to sell to my neighbors. If they need something that's in my garden, I charge them. <laughs> <laughs> Our cutters is broken. We conserve wood by, by, by putting buckets. If we uh, rinse our vegetables, we take the water, we throw it on our plants. Bath water, we, re we reuse it in, in our toilets. The kitchen water in the garden and the water that comes from the roofs, yeah. 
go to the garden. Here's my millies. This is our staple food. Yeah. We never stay without millies in our garden. Here's a nice green pepper. I've got this green pepper, then, then the pranjo. This is an eggplant. And my spinach, millies, potato. And there's my herb. There I've got my peach. That's my, my fruit department. Yeah. There I've got peach, strawberries. Oh. Yes. <laughs> I haven't eaten peaches yet, but I know <laughs> we are going to eat peaches in the long run. Yes. Here's a plum tree also. I'm going to have plants. Plum. This is a plum. Yeah. It's uh, the fruit trees that's growing here. It's just from the pups oh. that I, I throw in here. The tomatoes also growing everywhere here yeah, because of the seeds that's yeah. been blown from the wind. Yeah. And I've eaten the strawberries. Strawberries was very nice, big strawberries. There's an avocado pear tree also. Avocado. And Where's the avocado? There. Yes, it's this, growing this, okay. yes, it's growing okay, but I don't know. It, it is growing, it is promising, but I don't know if it's going to fruit okay. Yes. As South Africans, we know avocado pear is our favorite. Yeah. You know? And we believe each house must have an avocado. This is now my, this is now my flower, flower department. I like flowers, and but most of all, it's like indigenous plants that, that doesn't use a lot of water. But this is just in between for the colors. I don't use much plants that that's gonna use a lot of water. As a mother that doesn't work, that has a lot of children, I can still eat out of my garden. It saves me something in my pocket. You know? And yeah, this is the guava tree that I... Can we, can we get your I'm kids over? Come, 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 come. Yeah, then... Who, which ones are working in the garden here? He's, he's the one that's helping me the most, and he, he's just the, 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 the man that's telling me, this grow because of this. And now he is the Can't stay close enough, huh? okay. he is just the one that tells me why is this growing like this and that and that and that, but he doesn't work but he just know he's got the whole information in his head because they get it up from school. Yeah, he's teaching me a lot more about plants. He can tell me everything about plants. Once he, there was a cat caterpillar that was pissed on my 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 on my plant and he he could have tell me why, why is the pest on my plant what happened so that there was that pest on on the plant he told me everything about the caterpillar that went to sit on the plant and whatever he was it needs leaves transform into a butterfly so that that that, that uh, he is now like helpful in that he can tell me why is things like that because I just know how to plant and I just know what I want but the rest of it actually we wanted a, a, a greening here each house a tree knows me and Osisa we 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 we, we try to, to 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 motivate the people for the greening here but most of the people didn't want but we've tried most of the people didn't want that we've tried because the people thought of the soil is not going to work. We've, we've struggled so that this can... It's from last year we've planted this, this uh, uh, grass here, but it, it didn't grow well. But here it is now. Mary Tabile from Kaili Chai saying here at Tawelanga Street, number 27. Okay, thanks a lot, Mary. <laughs> you welcome. Are we missing? So this is what I got out of this project from from Abalini. Okay, thanks, Mary. Yes. Yes, it was it was a land from it was under the power line. It, it was Escom's land. Yeah. Yeah, it was an open space where people were dumping rubbish and all things. And then the people from the community they saw from the that. Neighborhood. 
yeah the neighborhood co uh, community they saw that land and then they saw abalimi running the home gardens at the mo at, the, at that time and then they approached abalimi to help them to do the, a big garden there yeah. and then the community they collect themselves and then they start that garden in with the help of abalimi uh -huh.